Hello everyone, how are you today? Today I have got two sticks and I'm going to join these two sticks together in a cross shape. I'm going to put a bit of sticky tape round to hold them in the right place. So I'm sticking them up like so they make a cross. And then I've got lots of different colour bits of wool. And I think I'm going to start with some red wool. I see if I can find the end of the wool. There it is. And I'm going to get a bit of wool that's about that long. So that's my bit of red wool. Then I think I'll have some blue wool. some white wool as well. So I'm going to take a piece of white wool just like that. And I'm going to start with my white bit of wool and I'm going to make a slip knot in it like that that I can put over the first stick. And I'm going to tighten it up. And I'm going to go around that stick and I'm going to go around the next stick and around the next stick. Let's move the end out the way and I'm going to go around that one again and around that one again and around that one again. covering the stick. Go to the next one and to the next one and to the next one and I'm just catching that loose end in to keep it out the way. I think I'm going to run out of my white wool soon. What do you think? Do you think I'm going to run out of the white wool? I think I've got enough white, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that off there and I'm going to take my blue wool and I'm going to tie the blue wool onto the white wool. Then I'm going to carry on doing the exact same thing. Going across, going under to there, coming under to there. tricky. You might have to get one of your grown-ups or a big brother or sister to look on the internet because there are lots of videos of people doing this. This craft is called Ojo de Dios, which is God's eye. It's a craft to make God's eye. And the people who used to live in Mexico, the indigenous people of Mexico, used to make these God's eyes because they were like a prayer. Like we light a candle, or we have a cross on a necklace, or we have rosary beads, or we might have a special picture that reminds us that God looks after us. The indigenous Mexican people used to make these special wool and stick crafts because they thought they looked like an eye. 
and they used to use them as special prayer symbols to, so that they knew God would look, was looking after their children. Can you see how it's like on the back? It's like an eye. So this side where I'm doing the weaving is actually the back side, not the front side. Now, I'm coming to the end of my blue, so what I'm going to do is find the end of the red. Do you know what? I'm going to tie the two bits together, just like I did with the blue and the white. Then I'm going to carry on winding my blue, and then it'll suddenly be winding the red. visited Abraham and Sarah and told them they were going to have a baby and Sarah laughed because she was so old that she thought she could never have a baby but she did and God looked out for Sarah and the baby but even though Sarah had never had a baby before Abraham already had a boy he had a son called Ishmael and when Sarah got her baby, she wasn't very happy having Ishmael and his mum still living with them. So she asked Abraham to send them away. And God prayed to God about what he should do. And God said it was okay for Abraham to send them away because God would still look after Ishmael, the same as he was going to look after Isaac. Because God is there for all kids. We're all made by God, and God loves us all, and God's eye watches over all of us. <coughs> so that's why we're making this craft, or hold the deals, God's eye this week, so we can remember that God is there looking out for all of us. So I'll see you later. You keep safe. Bye.